Hey there, it's Dr. Kamisa. Welcome back to our video series. And today, we're going to be talking about this. This machine right here, Electromagnetic Transduction Therapy, also known as EMTT. This is high-tech pain relief of the 21st century. So if you're new to our videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up, but stay tuned. I got lots to share about this, lots. Before I get into the video on the EMTT, I just wanted to share some thoughts about my practice, my journey, where we are today, 31 years in practice and going stronger than ever. You know, a large percentage of patients that we see come in what I call chasing their pain, whether it's been for a couple months, whether it's been for a couple years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, it's just been chronic, painful, inflammatory conditions. And when you have this kind of condition for a length of time, it starts to eat away at you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. It just drains you of everything. And these people have been everywhere. They have gone everywhere under the sun uh, or the best that they, can, that they know of. And then by the grace of God, they come into my world. They come into our office. They come into the stuff that we he have here. We have the radio, the focus, and the EMTT. They come into my world. These types of chronic, complex patients have been my inspiration for years and really have forged my practice into what it is today. We are all about solutions trying to find solutions for patients. So we're gonna get into the video now and try to explain this incredible high-tech piece of pain relieving, cell stimulating technology, EMTT. So let's take a look back in history. So this machine, electromagnetic. So let's look at the word magnet for a second. The word magnet comes from Magnesia, an ancient Greek city. There is a rock naturally occurring there, so there, it's called a lodestone. A lodestone is a naturally occurring magnetized piece of rock. And documents show that it has been used as much as 2000 BC. They were using it back then to heal people, different imbalances, whatever they were doing with it, but they were already using it and documenting using magnets to heal people 4,000 years ago. So let's fast forward a little bit. In my practice, 25 years ago, maybe something like that, uh, we used to use magnets. And it's funny, these are called magnet block. And research has shown when they did this, these are just small little magnets. They have, and you've seen magnet stuff all over, blankets and chair seats and insoles, and you put a wrap on your shoulder, it's magnets. Well, they had shown in research that these little guys were powerful enough to shut down the pain uh, cycle or the pain threshold. And if you just look at these, I mean, they're, it's a, whoa. <laughs> A pretty strong magnet anyways um, but that's the past that's the past so let's bring you up to speed 4,000 years later 4,000 years later we have the EMTT so let's get into it as we look at this EMTT from Storch Medical let's just take a look at this for a second looks like kind of a racket right and uh, a wand and some Sometimes some of the hardest stuff about trying to explain technology, you don't see anything moving with this. There's no moving parts to it. When it's on, all you hear is a clicking noise. It's the counter. But if you look at this, so the size of this, this is a pickleball uh, racket that I just purchased. I don't play pickleball, but uh, nonetheless, um, they're relatively about the same size. 
but I do like the, the pattern here that I picked on the racket though, a little bit of energy, but just to kind of give you an idea of the size of this, okay? And so how does this work? So let me explain that to you, okay? So what you're gonna be looking at now is a picture of wireless charging. Now you've seen this before, you might even have one at the house, but you put on this, this uh, you put your phone on some device, I know they have them in like Starbucks and different restaurants where you just put your phone down and you have them for earphones and stuff like that, but this is called inductive charging. And you can see on the other, you see one side here, you have the picture of the phone, and then on the other side, you see someone just laying down. So it's a no touch, it's a wireless type of inductive charging. So what does that mean and what is, and how does that really work? All right, so as we look at this, the wand here, let's, and we have this inductive charging, this touch free charging that it can do. Let's take a look at the, at the wand itself, okay? So this heavy duty cable here is coming through and is creating this electrical, um, the electricity is creating this magnetic field. And this magnetic field is, it's piercing through, it's piercing through the center. It's so the, as you can see on the picture here, the beam is going through the center, wraps back around and comes back around again. And so how much does that, what's the size of that beam? Well, I did this on the racket for a reason. So if we just use the racket for an analogy here, the beam of the, of the EMTT is approximately 15 to 17 centimeters in depth. So just about seven inches in depth. And then for the size of this, it's about 11 centimeters or just over four inches. And so this beam, I can treat my shoulder I don't have to have it touching my shoulder, but I can, I can treat my entire shoulder. And if I put this up against her, you can see that it's going to get into deep structures because of the magnetic um, uh, field that is created. It, is, it, it has the ability to reach deep structures like a lumbar disc, like a hip labrum, a shoulder labrum. And that's because of the science of the way that the wave is generated, okay? So as we talk about the science of the wave or the science of the EMTT, research and technology, look at the picture on the screen here. This signature of this waveform, it has a short frequency with strong magnetic pulses it has the ability to cross biological thresholds to create the greatest cellular environment and create that cellular environment of change, to restoring that change. If we look at the shape of the wave, the technology and the science behind what Stortz has done, what Stortz Medical has created with the EMTT, this shape of the wave is high frequency strong magnetic fields. And why that is so critical is because when you have the high frequency, strong magnetic fields, it's able to cross cellular thresholds. And when it crosses a cellular threshold, it has a direct influence on that cell environment. And that's where the healing starts. So let's take a look at a normal cell. This is a very simplified drawing of a normal cell. Cells are very complex. They have a lot of moving parts. But in simple terms, I like to say the cells have doors. They're called ion channels, but they have doors. And these doors are similar to like a building. You have people that come in and out of the building. You have FedEx delivering stuff, UPS, the mailman. And then you have the dumpster in the back where you're taking out the garbage, right? Well, think of a cell. These cells have to bring nutrients and different products to make, for the cell to use to be healthy. In, they have to go through the doors inside the cell and they have to get rid of stuff they don't want anymore. Well, in a chronic painful scenario where there's inflammatory painful responses, I like to say these doors get stuck. 
So you can't, it's kind of, you can't get in the building. And so what happens with the EMTT is that it does something fantastic. One of the key factors that the EMTT does is called electroporation. And what that is, is that these doors that are on these cells, they get stuck because we're in a chronic painful scenario with inflammation. The EMTT, as you see on the picture here, creates a magnetic field. These magnetic fields open and close these doors properly to help restore normal cell function. They oxygenate the cell. They bring more energy into the cell so the cell can produce more ATP, more energy for healing, more uh, get rid of waste products. And basically what it's doing in simple terms, it's supercharging the cells to stimulate the natural healing of our body. So by repairing rebuilding and regenerating, that's what the EMTT does so well. So when we talk about pain, pain is a very complex uh, natural behavior. But unfortunately, when it's really chronic, it sets off an entire cascade of events that is very difficult to stop and reverse that. And as you see on the diagram here, this is just a simplified version of the pain cascade, the, all the different factors uh, that are uh, involved in the pain cycle. And if someone's taken an NSAID, some kind of anti-inflammatory, it's only working on one of those cycles. And there's, if you see the list, there's quite a few of them. Well, because the EMTT opens and it's creating this magnetic field that's getting converted to electrical impulses, it's opening and closing these doors, it's changing the environment. So it's shutting down the pain threshold and also initiating nerve healing. The patient benefits from using EMTT are many, but let's start with the two main ones, decreased pain, decrease inflammation, and from decreasing pain, we're initiating nerve healing, improving circulation of blood. So that's a big one, right? And it's starting to stimulate the natural healing of our body. Those are five basic, very powerful things that are taking place. Some of the conditions that can be treated with the EMTT and, you know, some of them might need additional uh, different shockwave over here, but in general, conditions that would be uh, suitable for the EMTT is obviously pain inflammation, whether it's neck pain, low back pain, fusion pain, we see a lot of that, whether it's nerve pain, nerve compression pain, like radiculopathy, pain coming down the arms or down the legs, um, whether it's arthritis related pain from any kind of extremity pain from shoulder, elbow, wrist, knee, and hips, deep structures like a hip labrum, a shoulder labrum, or a lumbar disc, deep structures like pelvic floor pain, right? And then because the EMTT can stimulate uh, cellular activity, it also can stimulate osteoblastic activity for bone growth or bone healing. So for people that have osteo or bone density issues, people that have stress fractures, non-union fractures, post-traumatic post bone edema, like someone jumping up from a, like a basketball layup or a volleyball player and they land incorrectly on their, on their leg or their hip or whatever it may be, right? Acute sports injuries arthritic pain. This is by no means a complete list, but it's just incredible to see the types of conditions that can be affected by using EMTT. When I think about shockwave and what Stortz Medical has put together with the radial, the focus, EMTT, this trio of our shockwave system, is without doubt 
the most critical thing that we have added to our practice in 31 years. The conditions that we have been able to treat, the, the relief that we have given to patients, stuff that we never would have been able to do before, not even with injections. And when I think about our journey, I think about you know, 31 years in practice and we're going stronger than ever. And you know, if I look back at my practice from eight years ago and five years ago, it just continues to evolve. It's a place of constant change. And you know, people say, well, how do you keep going? Because you keep me going. Because we need to find solutions for people and companies like Storts help us find solutions so that we can provide them for patients. So until next time, as we empower you to live your best day every day, think about us when it comes to pain and inflammation. But until next time, have yourself a very blessed day.